the Vietnam War, a brutal conflict carved in blood and scorched by napalm. In the sky, a deadly ballet unfolded lumbering American bombers trailed by sleek North Vietnamese MiGs, often ending in fiery crashes. By 1966, Operation Rolling Thunder, the U.S. bombing campaign, was faltering under heavy losses. Enter Colonel Robin Olds, a fighter pilot with a maverick spirit and a cunning plan. Operation Bolo. From defeat to deception. Losses to agile MiGs were demoralizing. F-105 bombers, designed for bomb delivery, not dogfights, were easy targets. Olds, the commander of the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, refused to accept defeat. He envisioned a bold maneuver lure the MiGs into a trap, but not with brute force. Deception would be the key. Operation Bolo was audacity personified. F-4 Phantoms, more maneuverable and packing a powerful punch, were chosen as the bait. Disguised with paint and electronic jamming pods to mimic the F-105's radar signatures, they would fly along familiar bomber routes. Meanwhile, other phantoms, armed and hidden, would act as ambushers, blocking escape routes. The Day the Eagle Struck January 2, 1967 Tension crackled like static in the air as 28 phantoms disguised as bombers roared into North Vietnamese airspace. Unsuspecting, MiG scrambled, lured by the familiar bomber signals. As they closed in, the trap sprung. Phantoms shed their disguise, unleashing a fury of missiles and gunfire. The dogfight was a blur of speed and smoke. Skilled American pilots exploited the surprised MiG's maneuverability limitations. In a mere 13 minutes, the sky rained debris. Seven MiGs were downed nearly half North Vietnam's force at the time. No American losses. An unthinkable victory. Beyond the glory, echoes of a complex reality. Bolo's impact was undeniable. Morale soared, North Vietnamese air defense capabilities were crippled, and the psychological advantage shifted. Yet, claiming it, won the air war, paints an incomplete picture. The conflict raged on for years, claiming countless lives. Bolo stands as a testament to American ingenuity and tactical brilliance. It showcased the power of deception, technology, and risk-taking. Its lessons on adaptability and strategic thinking are studied in military academies worldwide. However, celebrating just the victory ignores the war's broader context and human cost. The fallen pilots on both sides are a stark reminder that victories come at a price. Bolo didn't end the war, it changed its course momentarily. Legacy, a turning point, not an ending. While not a war-winning event, Bolo redefined the skies over Vietnam. It proved that even in the face of adversity, audacious solutions and skilled execution can achieve seemingly impossible feats. But it also serves as a reminder that war is never just about victories. It's about the sacrifices made, the lives lost, and the enduring scars etched on those who return. Operation Bolo's legacy lies not in ending a war, but in demonstrating the power of human ingenuity and the complexities of conflict. It is a story of triumph and loss, a reminder that celebrating tactical victories must always be tempered by recognizing the human cost they entail.